Hey, hey YouTube, how's it going? So I haven't done an update in a while. Um, right now, as you guys could see, engines are in place, transmissions in place. I think on the previous video, I talked about the transmission mount for this and how I had to modify. I had to cut the video there short for a second. So, ignore the welds. I mean, they're not the best. I mean, this was with flux core, but it holds. So, the V6 transmission, which is the only one, the only 4R70W, um, at least from the F-150 I had, spare, spark, spark truck. No, actually, this came out of uh, a Ford Explorer, the 501, 98. Um, the transmission mounts are different on the V6 style 4R70W than they are on the V8s in terms of like modular. Apart from the bell housing, the transmission mount is a not the transmission mount linkage. So here what you see is I believe the bracket was from a 98 F-150. This one here. Um, I had to cut a portion here. Um, I know it looks crude, but it'll get the job done. And then this is the bracket from the Crown Victoria. See how I didn't even um, cut the bracket the Crown Victoria bracket. If in the future I decide to change um, back to a V8, to a different V8, I don't know for what reasons. Um, but yeah, I had to make up this bracket so I could um, use the transmit the transmission shifter, the factory one, to be able to control the transmission. Mind you, this will have a manual valve body. Ideally, it'll be. A uh, floor shifter will be the best, like a BN BNM shifter. The only thing is, I had an issue with the bracket they sell with the transmission kit, the Transco kit I used on this transmission. Um, the bracket, sh the the lever should hold a spacer that holds like a vacuum modulator. It wasn't it wasn't lining up. The spacer was falling off, so I know that was going to close the transmission within the first few miles. So I said, let me go with the factory one. The factory one holds. So that's why I'm retaining the uh, column shifter. Now the benefit of this would be I could technically make the car into a sleeper, I guess. Um, I'm still working out the, the idea for the AC. But it turns out I may be using the AC from a 1990 town car. It looks like the it should mount behind the radiator, the radiator here. The only thing I may need to modify are the um, transmission cooler. So I may need to go with an aftermarket one. So the good thing there is I could just splice the lines here and take them out to mount them somewhere lower there. But yeah, so not much has been done. Um, I need to change these bolts. Um, I bought some ARP bolts. Um, I already poured oil into it. Um, I went with Royal Purple breaking oil, um, just to be on the safe side, so everything breaks in perfectly. Um, the headers have a little bit of rust. Um, these are supposedly stainless steel. Well, I don't even know if they're stainless steel. That's the other thing. Probably not. Uh, Ford Motorsports. Ford Motorsports. Uh, Ford Performance. So things I still need to do: intake, vacuum lines. Um, Need to put the distributor in time with the engine. Um, I already have the wiring harness mostly complete, so it just falls and plugs in plain. Um, just missing the oxygen sensors connection, um, and kind of just have to finish up the harness to be able to turn over the engine. Um, still need to find a bolt for the warp pump pulley. Still need to replace the power steering pump. Um, issue with it was I apparently the one I bought does not come with the regulator here so I have to remove this again um, ABS pump it's not going to be used because the transmission I'm um, the not transmission the ECU I'm using is from a 94 or 95 Mustang it's a W4H or H0 strategy um, so what I may end up doing is, it seems this has already the regulator here, so I may just find a T-fitting 
take uh, one for the back one and then the T figuring for the front ones. Um, the good thing is I, it looks like a good interceptor there. I'll make somewhere the bracket I guess I'll use this or somewhere down there. And I may just include a line lock at that point since I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to do some custom lines. But yes, that would then get this um, this module out of the way. I'm not really interested in an ABS right now on this car. Now, in terms of the radiator hoses, um, I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the lower one. But for the top one, I had to use a Lincoln Mark Seven, a portion of it. Um, kind of have to put it here. I need to turn this around to do. I guess like a bottle somewhere here for over um, the coolant tank and then this one's from a 04 Focus I had laying around I am gonna buy a new new one just in case um, but as you can see for me it seems like it's a perfect fit and then I just have to do a support from here to I guess the radiator I could probably use one of these holes with a bolt and then a clamp here that way it's not moving around. I still need to buy a, an electric radiator fan. Um, I wanted to use a mechanical one but seeing how the line's gonna be in the way and it's just gonna be much, probably more efficient to just use a radiator, electric radiator fan. But yeah, other than that, um, this has been the update. I've already started putting the front end on it. But yeah, um, I was able to, this 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 was an issue because I had to modify a wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench, kind of solder a core extension to be able to hammer this in place and not damage it. And I had to trim it down a little bit here. And then you can see, so the bolt action, so it actually fit between the header and the bolt. So yeah. Uh, bought some custom made uh, battery cable although I may need to replace this one because it doesn't go all the way in and it's a little bit on the long side so I messed up on that one but I do have a ground array installed um, I already have the factory uh, star cable looks to be the perfect size for this so I could use a factory one to just run the star um, so yeah um, almost done I mean there's still a few things minor issues I still need to resolve I don't want to estimate when it will be done because I said hopefully in a month and it's already been a month with everything going on um, so yeah that's the update for now um, last thing based on the intake I need to I don't know if it was here or up there I had to cut a portion of it so I haven't done it because I still need to figure this out. I did have to buy a spacer for it. Um, the fuel regulator was hitting the intake and I couldn't put the intake facing that way because it would hit with the um, wiper motor. So a lot of things trying to figure out as I go. Um, but yeah. Okay, um, I decided before I ended the video um, I wanted to show, show you guys a quick update. So, don't mind the shaking camera. I'm trying to see the best angle to put this at. So, tail shaft housing. Um, I already installed the mount, the modified transmission mount. Again, it was a Crown Victoria transmission mount. I just opened up the holes a little bit. Um, so it had some form of adjustment. Uh, in a previ previous video, I kind of showed how I modified the transmission cross member. Here you can see. Again, booger welds. Um, I know a whole I mean, they're not a Prius, but then again, this isn't a show car. So I'm still missing the transmission speed sensor, which I need to get from the other transmission. Um, brackets are installed. Uh, still need to tie in that one bolt up there. Um, again, tying up over there. Transmission, um, tow shaft. So it still has, I want to say half an inch of play. Slightly less, but more than three eighths. Um, I don't think that would be an issue. 
especially if, this, if the suspension compresses. Um, I'm not planning on lowering the car, so until then, I don't think I'll have to worry about having the drive shaft drive shaft shorn. Um, although I think probably the rust may destroy that rear main seal for a transmission again, so um, I may have to keep an eye out just in case it doesn't leak. Um, that's my only concern. Uh, U-joints, I know they seem to have better days, but I guess um, I'll leave that for another day. But as you could see, it's installed. I mean, let me... there you go. So all in all, you guys are a little, uh, maybe upside down right now, but yeah. So transmission portions are already done. Um, I still have to wire up a few things for the transmission in terms of uh, overdrive and lockout. Right now, I only have it's technically right now three speed. Um, if you think about the 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 way how the transmission works, so I still need to go through the kit, need to take out a harness. Uh, it's just providing 12 volts really and two switches. And then I still need to do the exhaust to me up here and there. And install the O2 sensors for the ECU and for the wideband. Um, other than that, I mean, it seems like I'm getting closer to I'm getting the car started. I just need to put the engine in timing, adjust the distributor, wire everything up. Still need to modify the intake manifold. Um, there were two things I need to break off from it for the intake ports, which now I need to thread. I may just put thread and put a bolt through it. That way, it doesn't have any leaks. And that's about it. Um, and finish up the wiring harness, but. The harness itself will already let me the um, allow me to start up the car. Um, one thing I did notice, I may need to modify the the star more because it's. I feel like it's crowding in a. Let me see if I can move through here. Give me one second. Okay, so I wasn't able to pass because of the jack and jack stands. So I have another thing blocking the way. So as I was saying, I don't think that's going to be an issue, um, except I feel like the star mower here is kind of pushing in. I may just need to cut that a bit, um, because again, this was supposedly for a 98 Explorer, so I don't see why it should be an issue, but then again, I may just need to trim this a little bit here to let this out a bit. and. That should be it. I did find a leak. I think it's leaking through that bolt. So apparently I was reading they are through bolts, so I need to put Teflon on that one. It looks like this one's also wet. But all the other ones are drying, so it's not gonna hold up star up. It's just I should fix it before continuing. As you can see, the bracket itself, I've already gone through the gears, you know, uh, with a shifter and it works. Um, I still need to tighten that one bolt. Um, it was slightly long, so I may just put some washers or not. Call it a ding. So yeah. So right now I'm missing exhaust, wiring, ignition, intake, and coolant. And the next thing I need to find is going from here to here which I may need to find a hose here, an adapter, and then take it all the way, probably right through here, so it's away from the engine. And eventually afterwards the radiator fan. But yeah, getting close to it. So hopefully I should have a few more updates next week. If not, it's how it goes um, between work, school, and all of that. So yeah, um, like, subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions. But yeah, uh, 5 volt conversion, 302 on a uh, 2000 Crown Victoria.